Hello, everyone, and welcome to Marie's Scrappy Creations, where we sew the scraps of your life into beautiful creations. Today, I have another guest, and I have been so excited to introduce you to Mona. Now, her YouTube channel is called Mona Did What? And you will never guess what she's up to. She's busy all the time. So I'm going to turn it over to her for a moment and let her tell you what she does on her channel, what it's all about. And then her and I, were going to do some sewing and some chatting. So would you like to tell us all about you, Mona? Uh, really not much to tell, but I like to sew, and but I get bored sitting here by myself. So I decided just to start going on YouTube and make some friends. And you just never know what's going to happen on one of my shows. <laughs> Someone said to me when they found out we were going to be filming, they said, I better wear my Depends because I'll probably eat <laughs> or something like that. It's like, okay. Yeah, some days I get the giggles and I can't stop it. I'll just giggle, giggle, giggle. Like, especially if I get nervous, I just start laughing. Oh, uh, you know, I can't say as I've ever been nervous. I thought I would be. And I remember thinking, what am I going to talk about? What am I going to say? I just can't shut up. I get on there and I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. I just get on there and I make mistakes when I'm live, especially. I'll burn my hand, pick up the iron by this, or Ooh, yeah. totally mess yeah. everything up. I do make more mistakes during a live stream. Uh, things I wouldn't normally do. Just because I'm watching the chat box and replying to people. See, I can pass the buck. I can say it's someone else's fault. No, it's really on me. I just, I have to have full concentration. So what are you working on today, Mona? I'm just um, making a tote bag. Okay. Uh, well, that's what I'm working on. A little sheet soup tote bag. Uh, that's cute. That's it. You're going to put fabric around it? Yeah. Strips here and there. <laughs> yeah. I like those strips that you had me get from your friend there. Oh, found, from my fabric addiction. Yeah. yeah. I was just going through some of those this morning. They come in really handy, don't they? Yes, they do. They do. I, I love those. I saw someone else on Etsy. It was just a week or so ago, and I was going to bookmark it just so I could tell people, see how expensive? They had a one-pound package of scraps, and it was $22, whereas Kim Kimberly charges $10 for a one-pound scrap. Yeah. You can't beat it. No, you can't. And she Otherwise, really I wouldn't be able to use any of the new fabrics, because all I have is vintage. Sure. So that gives me a way to check out other fabrics so it's really yeah. fun there was yeah. kidneys in the one the other day <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you're going to get uh i was just going through them this morning when i should have been prepping for our so long and or so together and i was going through and i was sorting so i threw some of the uh christmas prints because there i've got four or five you know there's one here and there through her scraps and so i'm going to put them together and uh, probably make a Christmas tote bag out of them. Oh, that'll be um, So anyway, what I'm working on today is I have all my tulip pink scraps and I need to quilt them down. I have uh, my cotton batting and a piece of cotton fabric behind there. I didn't, when I used to make them, I didn't use the fabric behind there because, of course, I'm going to have a lining in there. But I found that I like the stability better. And so I'm quilting onto that. And there's less lint in my machine. Oh, that's um, nice. yeah, I never thought of that. Yeah, that's one side. And then this is the flip side of it. I love it. Thank you. So it sounds like we'll both be working on our bags you're in a different spot in yours than I am but that's all well and good <laughs> yeah I won't um, finish mine today you might but I <laughs> well no I still I haven't cut the straps I've got to make the lining and a welt pocket uh yeah it takes a long this time is... to make a bag people don't realize how much time actually yeah. goes in. 
Really, that's true. Because I made one, um, I made one for a friend and gifted it, and it was out of nursing fabric. And I used some Lorelei Harris nursing fabric as the centerpiece, and then I kind of like log cabined it around those with medical fabric. And that took me the better part of four days to make the bag uh -huh. with the straps, the pockets, the, you know, everything. And then one of my subscribers said, I want that bag. And I said, well, I'm sorry, it's already gone. <laughs> you know, it wasn't for sale. So she had me make her one and it took three days to make the bag. It takes a lot of time. It and a does. lot of materials. Yeah. You know, all the... If you don't use the batting, you're using the interfacing and all that other stuff. And that stuff's not cheap either. So. No, it isn't. I tend to use cotton batting a lot because I buy it uh, on the bolt because I was buying it by the yard. And I was like, yikes. And it's expensive either way, but it's much cheaper by the bolt. Yeah, I just uh, bought a bolt, but it's still under the table. I'm trying to finish up all my scraps. That's why I brought my other machine up so I could zigzag some of the batting together to use. Yeah, that's actually how I started naming these bags Franken bags was because of batting. I'm oh, just calling someone that. Yeah, because I used to piece my batting and call it, you know, Franken piecing. And so when I started making the bags, of course, most of my pieces were just crumbs that I was sewing together and I use a lot of my decorative stitches on them going each way. And so I started calling them Franken bags. And yeah, so I Googled the other day. That got me into trouble. I Googled a week or so ago Franken bag just to see, because I'm sure I figured someone else probably calls them that too or has their own version. And sure enough, my first result amazed me, Mona. It was a woman with a blog. And she makes Franken bags out of K facet scraps. Oh wow! Oh, all of those I'd love to see that. Yes. So I will link that down below for you and for anyone else. But I'm telling you, you get on her blog and you just get lost because it's just amazing. In fact, I think I'm going to write to her. She does have one or one or two sewing videos but a lot of them are about uh her dogs she has a lot of videos on youtube about her dogs and um uh, but she has a couple of tutorials where people said you know how do you piece it and she did basically the crumb piecing like what i do on quilts or whatever and, but the colors and fabric she uses are just amazing but the other thing that amazed me is she's making bags exactly like I make bags and have for years, only she's using fabric that I haven't used. So, you know, she'll use a block here and there and then go around it with crumbs or, or she'll take strips or, or whatever. It's just her own way. And it's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah so. But yeah, I'll link that down below and you can check it out. But then yeah. I saw you got some K facets. Uh, charm packs and I was so jealous I'm like no <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. because of you I went and checked out the restream of that live sale and I only went as far as until they showed that they're only ten dollars and I'm like that's it I can't watch this <laughs> anymore <laughs> yeah that's why I bought so many yeah but then I, was I like, got wow, off. Of I bought some. <laughs> I'm like, I'm broke already because I think I bought four of them. I'm like, okay, I got to get off of here. I didn't finish the show. <laughs> well, I haven't uh, signed up for them or what, do whatever the registration. I haven't done that yet. I need to, but not like I really need to buy fabric either. So, well, either do I, but if it's a great deal, sometimes you can't pass it up. <laughs> yeah. Although I think I'm going to need a bigger house. <laughs> Pretty soon, huh? So are you in like a spare bedroom or what? Where are you? I'm sir? in my bedroom. You're in your bedroom, like a corner yeah. of your bedroom? Like right here where this camera is, I yeah. have a cube system going across. On the other side of that is my bed and a little nightstand. The rest <laughs> a little of the one. 
<laughs> the rest of the room is my sewing. Well, and it's funny it because when I started YouTube, I started. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I didn't know you weren't done. There's a delay oh. of a few seconds, so I'm missing. And then downstairs, I used to have it in the L of my living room, which was nice because I had more room, but yeah. the kids and everybody would bother me. So that's full of cubes with fabric. Then I had to put more cubes in the dining room full of fabric. And then uh -huh. the spare room is only the size of a closet. It's stacked to the ceiling. I see. Stacked so to the ceiling. <laughs> it's just a mess. It's not organized in there because I bought a bunch of the thrift store and it's just piled up in there uh-huh so i really shouldn't be buying anything <laughs> but you can always find something and be like oh well i could use that on a b c or d you can always justify fabric yes well i have no money in the fabric that i have except for the stuff i got at the thrift store and the vinyl the rest of it um was all gifted to me when mm -hmm. my grandmother passed, but I didn't take it until my grandfather passed because I just I see. didn't. So now it's like sewing with her every day. Whenever oh, I absolutely. That's after. wonderful. Yeah. 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 Uh, I haven't tried vinyl yet. I want to, but because I can't buy it locally, I don't know what to buy online because I want to feel it. I want to know the thickness or whatever it is. And yeah, I get that. I haven't yet, but I want to, to make some NCWs, and I really need to get busy with those. So, Yeah, I haven't uh, made those. I've made the accordion wallet from, uh, oh, no, I can't think of it. She's overseas somewhere. Hmm. But anyways, I've made hers. Well, I bought another wallet pattern. I wasn't going to grab my phone because I hate to do that during a, a stream. I don't want to, I always want to be looking at people, but just so I, oh, I know what it's called, Gemini wallet. I oh, I've never I heard of that. It yet. But I, I just bought it. In fact, um, one of my friends, she's a subscriber and she moderates on my live streams, Terry. And she she said, have you tried the so the so sweetness? I think it is super bloom pattern. And I said, no. Because she had made one and posted it on the group. And <laughs> I said, no, I've seen it, but I can't justify buying it because I still have the uh, Gemini wallet. I haven't even made one yet. So she went and bought me the pattern so I wouldn't have to feel guilty about buying it. <laughs> I'm not sure how that works, but now I have it. Of course I want to make it, but you can only fit so much sewing into one day. And, you know, yeah. I can't help for long periods of time, so. Yeah, I have uh, a lot of patterns I haven't done yet. Yeah. But my I have mom, a few small bags I need to make, too. Some of the small. Like this. I make a lot of these. Yes, I love your open zipper pouches. Yeah, this one was made a little bigger because I used uh, knitting fabric and stuff. So I want it to be long enough for double point knitting needles. Oh, um, good idea. I make the Clementus. It's a free pattern. Risky. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. That's and beautiful. then it just has a regular pocket, no zippers or nothing. And these are easy; they're domestic friendly, and even yeah, that one is too. Yeah, there's a little tiny bit of vinyl at the bottom. Yeah, I noticed that. So but when you, you buy vinyl, how do you know what thickness or whatever to buy, or how do you buy it? I guess I don't understand. Pretty much trial and error. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I bought some vinyl the one time. It was so thick. I couldn't even cut it with scissors. Oh, boy. I emailed the lady. She goes, oh, yeah, that is thick. So I don't go rogue anymore and buy it. 
Um, so I pretty much, out of all my experiments, got it down to a few places. So um, you know just from the website what you're going to get. Yes. And uh, some of them will tell you if it's domestic friendly or not. I see. And so I try and stick to those, even though I know my uh, Juki will go through it. So, and then fabric.com was great for buying it, but they closed. Yes. Yeah. You could get the whole great big, you know, 64 inch. I have two of them sitting over there. But now wow. I like the little 18 inch rolls because they're easy to store and you don't have those giant rolls sitting around because I can shove right. them in the drawer. Right. I'll show you one here. Oh, here it is. They come just like this. Okay. And you buy them by the yard at that width? Uh, no, I buy this by the roll. Okay. I don't know how much it is now, but it's usually like $10 or something, 12 But uh, this is from my, um, my punk embroidery. But they also have sheets. So if I don't know what it is, I'll buy a sheet for $2 to try first and see how, see. It, how it does. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah, that's a good idea. That's what yeah, I do with my sure. labels. When I bought my labels that have my name on them, I got like a trial pack so I could see what they're like. Yes, and More Me Know has vinyl now too. Hers are $18 a roll, but oh, it is so nice. I have some somewhere, but I don't know where. And what's the shipping like? For these, is it reasonable? Yes. Um, my punk embroidery is really cheap. Uh, Bodio, I can't remember, but if you buy so much, you get it free. And uh, Lauren at Mormy, no, she only, she does like um, the flat rate boxes so you can get a lot in there. Okay. Yeah, because I've watched her videos, but I've never... You linked her in one of your videos after I asked you about hardware or zippers or something. Yes. And so I went and checked it out. Whenever I run out of something and I need something right away for a project, I get it through her because she ships it right out and you have it yeah. usually within the week. Yeah. See, that's what I like about my fabric addiction. She ships. Like a lot of times if you've ordered by... 10, 11 o'clock, it's out that afternoon. It's on its yeah, way she's, to you. She's super fast. Yeah, she is. It's funny because when I I had placed my first order with her just before I started YouTube. And then I wanted to mention her shop in a video. And I didn't know what the rules were for YouTube and if I could just throw something out there without asking permission. So I I emailed her and said, you know, I've started a YouTube channel. I, I purchased from you and I like this or that. Can I mention it? She's like, sure. You can mention me as long as you send me the link because I want to see. Oh, okay. Um, so she's been really sweet. She sends me stuff from time to time, surprise boxes and things. And she used to put the videos on at work. Like if I'd send her the link, she'd put one on. But she jokes and she says, I can't put your videos on because work halts. Nobody does anything. We just all stand there <laughs> watching your videos. So that was cute. Yeah. I've linked um, her in some videos too, but I didn't know you had to ask people. I just... Well, I don't know. That's what I say. I didn't know. So I did it just so I was covering my bases, but... Yeah, if I, I buy think pattern, if I buy a pattern for somebody, I always put where I got it in the description. Yeah. Even if I change it and it doesn't look like the pattern, I always... Right. Yeah, I like to do that. But like I said, I was just covering my bases because I didn't know if I had to or not. So I figured I'd better ask. But I guess basically you don't do. have to. It's just, uh, it's more of a courtesy thing than anything. It's been weird not having my daughter here all weekend. It's been so quiet. It's almost too quiet. Almost too quiet. Uh-huh. 
Although I did enjoy it, except for last night when the power was out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, how Thank old you. is she? Uh, 19. Uh-huh. Yeah, she was dog-sitting. She I kept chasing me. My yogurt's in the fridge. Can I get it out? Can I get it out? I'm like, <laughs> open the door. Well, you always told me in the storm we can't open the fridge. I said, <laughs> just eat your yogurt. I said, I'm not coming out in the storm to bring you something. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Then the dog wanted to go downstairs at night. I have pee pads in the laundry room for them to use. Because mm -hmm. I don't let them out at night. Because there's an owl. Or, you know, it's just not safe to be outside. Sure. Well, here, but So I go. I had to get the book light. And turn it on so the dog could see to walk down the steps to go pee. And this was at one o'clock in the morning. I'm like, <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah, the things we do for our pets, right? <laughs> well, these lines are going really quickly. We're sitting here chatting. We're keeping people entertained, maybe. <laughs> I always oh, say maybe. maybe. <laughs> That's all I do when I'm not on YouTube making a video. I'm watching somebody else's video sewing. Yeah. Yeah. I tend to listen more than watch. So I'll glance up every now and again. But I generally listen. Because uh, I used to watch a lot of YouTube before I started doing my own YouTube. And now it seems like I listen more than I watch. Yeah, but even at night, if I'm watching TV, I got YouTube in the background. Yeah, especially me too. If going live, in case I might miss something. <laughs> yeah. And uh, when was it? It was last week. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Terry, she's your uh, on your channel there. Yes. Everywhere I went, she was there. We were laughing. Yeah, she, she I tell her, you get around YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> she's a sweetheart yes she's the one that got me the bag pattern yes yeah yeah she cracks me up yeah she was in on so yeah she goes what are you doing i said nothing <laughs> then i forget where i went next it might have been lauren's channel and there she was there she was again that's oh, it funny, was funny. Yeah, I've got uh, a lot going on lately. I started doing YouTube shorts. I did five or six, so I haven't done them in probably, I don't know, close to a week now. I really wanted to try out doing them, but coming up with ideas. And then I joked, I'm like, Mona and I must be on the same wavelength. Because like three of yours, I'm like, I was going to do that. Wait, why <laughs> It's just funny that we think of the same thing, but that does happen because there's times where I'll put out a tutorial and I'll notice that some other YouTuber that I follow puts out one within like 10 or 12 hours of me that they've filmed before. So we both have the same idea. So yeah. It does happen, but yeah. I saw one of the vintage sewing machine and I'm like, that was my idea. I didn't mean my idea my idea i'm just saying i was going to do that same thing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do it i'm just going to wait a little while <laughs> so it doesn't look like i'm copying you <laughs> oh i wouldn't care if you did no i know but i'm just saying it was just funny the timing was hilarious yeah I, I have more machines to show so i'll wait until after you put your stuff <laughs> I do I, that's what I thought of. Should I go around and take little blips of all my machines? I'm like, no, nah, I can't fit that in in a minute because I have quite a few machines. But no, I, I generally have a few that the two that I use, and I have two down cellar that are in the box, you know, like in the styrofoam inside the box, and they work, but they're a cheap domestic. Yeah. And, um, 
I gave my mom one to use that had a uh, self threader because she has such a hard time threading, but she can't remember how to thread it using that. So I have a self threader. I can't use it. Oh, really? Cannot figure it out. Now the threader on my new uh, my new machine is a semi industrial brother, and it's totally different than the uh, threaders are like on the Singer Quantum Stylist. It's all <laughs> together different. So, but I'll learn it. But I love that machine. I love that machine. But I can't film with it right now. Plus. Uh, I had some of my subscribers were kind of concerned because they they thought once I got the semi-industrial that I'd be doing projects that they couldn't do with their home machines. And I said, oh, no, I'll never do that to you guys. It will always be domestic-friendly patterns or projects, I should say. Yeah. Yeah. So on your channel, let's tell them, do you do tutorials, sew alongs? Why don't you tell them what you do? Um, I do some tutorials and then lives. I usually uh, try and do a tutorial, but then I mess it up. <laughs> uh, last week I did a whip show. Everybody got together and just sewed and crafted. One lady crocheted. Mm -hmm. On whatever There's they have. No rhyme or reason to my channel. I just hop on and do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I want to do that more where I just go live because I'm sitting here sewing and just chit chat. And then you don't have to edit. That's so true. That's why I went to live stream What's Up Wednesdays because it lightened my workload. I didn't have to edit that video. And people like the live stream. A lot of people like the live stream. It's yes. fun for me, so. Yeah, I think I did one premiere. Because um, I didn't, I wanted to show what I was doing, but I didn't want the anxiety being on there live. So I uh, filmed it and then did the premiere. Then I could still talk to the chat. Yeah, I don't understand the premiere yet. I, I just don't it's get it. It's a video where you have live chat. That's all it is. You know, like, um, you could take any a tutorial you made and you could do it a premiere and set it at a certain time. And then everybody can go in and still chat in the chat. Um, and you can chat with them, you know, off screen. Just type it, I guess. Hmm. So. Oh, I don't know. I've never tried it. I'd, I'd see it there. Do you want to set this as a premiere? And I'm thinking, I don't know what that is. So no, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I just did it once because I like to try stuff. And I said, what could yeah. happen? <laughs> right. Well, I had the hardest time getting a live stream to happen for me because nobody clued me into a couple of facts. And I am not great with computers and stuff. I mean, I, I can get around and do certain things, but... Okay, so I had my laptop, my iPad, and my Android phone. Now, my video tutorials, I film them on my Android phone. And then I plug the cord into the laptop and edit it on my computer, on my Windows computer. So I wanted to use my computer, which has a webcam and an external microphone. I wanted to use that to do my live streams. And every time I would do it, it would set up, it let me go through the whole thing and there'd be all these people sitting there waiting for me and I couldn't get into my own live stream. It would say, waiting for Marie's Scrappy Creations. And I'd be on that screen going, waiting for what? What am I supposed to be doing? What am I missing? Did Nobody you said you have to have an external system like OBS Studio or whatever. That's what I needed. Now, if I were on my phone going live, I wouldn't need that. If I were on my iPad, I wouldn't need that. But on the computer, you have to have, it wouldn't let me go. No, oh, I've got uh, mine Android computer without any. Yeah, um, an Android. This is a Windows. 
See, I could do it on my Android phone or I could do it on my iPad, but going on my Windows 11, I had yeah, to have a system. Well, it wouldn't let me in. It couldn't do anything. So I went and downloaded OBS Studio, went on YouTube to figure out how to work it. And that guy said, you can't inherently go to YouTube live because you have to have something that connects those two. And on Windows, you have to have something. There's other ones out there other than OBS, but that's the one I use. Did you go through YouTube Studio? Yeah. That's how I was setting it up. Studio, go live, and I set up everything. But couldn't get into my own live stream. Yeah, that is strange, because I just hit go live, and it goes right on. On what, though? What are you using? Um, I was using my uh, Samsung chromebook or whatever it was right because that's an android product then right samsung it's yeah. not running a windows 10 or a windows 11 i don't know if it's 10 or 11 but it wouldn't it's not compatible with my cameras or uh stream labs so then i had to buy a macbook so stream everything labs that's yeah. the other one i was trying to think of but yeah so once i downloaded obs studio it was just a couple of clips and i could go live on my computer without any problem. Huh. It gives me the stream key. I copy and I paste it and I'm there. Oh, see, I don't even use a stream key or nothing when I go live. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't need to if I was using my phone or what my about... or my tablet. I wouldn't need to, my iPad, but I don't know. I can't do it on my computer without it. it I just can't. Um, and I... I didn't know what I was missing all that time. I kept thinking, what am I doing wrong? And I felt so foolish because I wanted to do the live streaming, but I couldn't figure it out. I've yet to do it on my phone. Um, I'd like to try it one of these days. I guess I could try it on private just to see if it works. Well, you could just <laughs> jump on for a few minutes and test. I do that all the time. So Terry says, you're using us for a guinea pig. I said, yep. <laughs> Yeah, because you can do it and, and have private, and you can send someone a link just to try it. You know? oh, yeah, I didn't know you could do that. I just went live. Yeah. Well, I did it one time, and people were confused, so I didn't want to call them up for nothing, you know, have them get over there for nothing. So I started doing it. When I test things out, I do it private and just send one or two people the link so they can help me out by you know like what do you see can you hear me this and that and then not everybody gets the uh, notification yeah and that uh i've tried Streamyard. they're pretty good at going live and that's free yeah obs is free too i i haven't tried uh the other one there that you just named stream but um uh, yeah and then there's uh restream also Mm -hmm. But I had trouble with, uh, I'm, I must not have had enough Wi-Fi for those or something. Yeah, see, I had a big issue with my Wi-Fi. That's why I had to hardwire it directly with a uh, Ethernet cable. Because I, my router and modem are downstairs. You have to walk up six or seven steps to a landing turn, go up, and then you come in this room and I shut the door or the cat would be in here and I wasn't getting enough signal to be live. I was just losing it. So I had to use hardwire my computer. Yeah, I got one of the, the TP-Link Wi-Fi booster and it got rid I of all I tried that, that. yeah. Except well, I got that brand, but I tried one and it didn't. When I didn't go give me enough. When I go through Streamlabs, my voice is different than my mouth. It looks like one of those old films where they're like, you see their mouth moving. And yeah, but it's not in time. Huh. And that's with which one? Streamlabs, when I was going live through there. So I don't go live through there anymore. Mm -hmm. I just go live and then have them in the background. Yeah. For what? Or what What do they do in the background? They're a uh, chat box, and I can put in links. I have um, my Facebook and all that saved now if I remember how to, remember to use it and different mm -hmm. stuff. And then when I have a giveaway, I can uh, put it in there, and it'll do whatever. And uh, 
I started having games on Saturdays where they can go in and play a game. But that one I have to go through. Because I had someone introduce me to Nightbot and I went in because I had had some, uh, you know, scammers or trolls or whatever show up from my live streams early on. But I wasn't a fan because it, it automatically starts putting stuff in my chat box that I don't want there. And then number two, I would have had to mess around with clicking and filling something in and doing this and that. I was like, that's too much for me. <laughs> I can't. Uh, but I figured out I keep the bot. I have not had an issue with scammers, bots, whatever, since I made changes. I went on YouTube and looked it up and found this guy who explained why they happen and how it happens and how to avoid it. And so far, so good. It's it's probably been seven months and I have not had one in there. And I just took his advice. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I do, um, what do you call it? I moved it so you can't comment unless you're a subscriber, yeah, subscriber only mode. But I have yeah. mine for 20 minutes. Yeah, I, I put mine for hours because the, when I first did it that way, I still had bots coming in because they just subscribe and come in a few minutes later. Into, so yeah. I put it for five or six hours. So that way... I only give people like an hour or two notice. So by the time they subscribe, the bots subscribe or whatever they are, they still can't get in because it's over and done with, you know. Oh, but wow. I haven't had an issue with it. The other thing that they said to do, this guy said to do, he said, do not put a link of any kind or an email address in your description box until after your live stream is over with. He said, just simply put, you know, join me today. We're going to blah, blah, blah. Leave it at that edit it afterwards because that's what they're looking for. He said they're crawling the web looking for uh, that at symbol, those hashtags. That's what they're doing. That's how they find you. He said, so leave it out. No, I don't put the email in my description, only um, on my about page. Mm -hmm. Well, I, um, I just leave everything out other than the description of what the live is about. Uh, I leave everything out until after, and then I just go in and edit it with whatever I'm putting in there. Like, say you and I were live right now, mm -hmm. I would wait until afterwards to go link your channel. Oh, okay. I see. But anyway, it, it's worked so far for me, and um, I've got one. some moderators that drop the links of everyone's channels so I can get channels and Facebook groups and stuff in there. And they're well, really saw, good about it. So I saw a channel the other night. Instead of calling out everybody's channels and stuff, they said if there's any channels that want their link drop, just comment with a heart on their mm -hmm. post. So then that way the moderators would go in and just put the link I for see. the heart. That way, yeah. You and I I think what out. I'm going to do too is I'm going to get everyone's links. And then instead of the mods having to do it, I'm going to drop it in the description box after the after the live stream too. Yeah, I've done that for once because in a live stream you miss stuff. You know, people so I anybody I miss, I put in after. Yeah. <laughs> for the longest time I could couldn't figure out how to add them into the chat. So I was doing it all after. <laughs> This has been a real learning experience. Yeah, right. there's there's a lot to it. You know, people don't always know what, what we put into it, you know. Well, when I first went to college, you had to program your computer to do anything. And computers were, you know, as big as a house. And then you went down to the uh, regular computer and you had to go on AOL. Well, oh, yeah. I made a mess of that. It said I needed more memory. I just went in and started deleting stuff. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Crashed my computer. Thank goodness my Uncle Jimmy knew what to do. He fixed it. He says, do not delete anything else unless you ask me first. <laughs> well, I've never had any kind of computer education. Anything I've learned, I've learned on my own. Because that's, you know, but... 
do or die, you know? <laughs> well, you have to now because everything I learned in college, it's obsolete. Obsolete, I was going to say, yeah. yeah. That was back in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting to the end of this. I don't have very many more lines to quote. Well, that's good. Are you free motioning or? No, I'm just serpentine stitching. Uh, I can free motion quilt. I've been practicing doing it, but uh, I can only do it for a few minutes because it bothers my neck. So I figured where we're uh, filming, I probably shouldn't because then I would have been stuck with nothing to do because I could have only done it for a few minutes. All I've no. done free motion is by the foot. That's it. By the foot. Yeah, the free oh. motion foot. I bought two of them. Uh -huh. I got the one with the little circle on it. Yeah. And then the open thing. And yeah. somebody says I need a ruler foot, but I haven't got that yet. I figured I'm not buying any more until I at least try one. Well, I use what came with this machine. And it's just a, a clear... Oh, okay. I'm trying to show this part, the foot. But yeah, it's just a spring. That looks like the one I have on my other brother, but it's not a yeah. industrial. Yeah. It's just it's about. different. No, this is for my home. the The semi industrial has a different walking foot. This uh -huh. the the one I just showed you is for this singer. This is a home machine. Oh, okay. I had to turn the fan on here today. It's warm in here today. My face is all red. Yeah, I turned off the heat in here. Last night I was freezing. The cat must have been cold. It was on top of me. I'm like, go away, people. Just go away. That's some heat. My cat. Yeah, we're actually getting snow today. We're supposed to get up to 10 inches of snow. It's been snowing most of the day. Oh, geez, it's sunny out after last night's storm that took out everybody's power and trees down everywhere. Was it from the wind? Is that why it went out? Yeah. Well, it was wind and rain. I mean, it was bad here. I, mm -hmm. I heard something hit the house, and uh, I forgot I had the pear tree out there, so I went and looked. I said, well, it's not the big tree, and then I was uh, watching the storm on the camera so I wouldn't have to get near the window. And I go, there's something big in the yard. And I went and looked, and it was the top of the tree. <laughs> huh. And then, uh, but I, at least I still had power. And then I was on watching a live last night, and it went off right in the middle of my comment. <laughs> like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> you couldn't finish. <laughs> no, that was it. <clears throat> Yeah, I filmed with Jean yesterday from Captain Stitches. Oh, okay. I'm not sure when we're going to air that, but... Uh, I had her on Friday on a live stream, just sewing and chatting. That girl can right. talk, let me tell you. What's that? That girl can talk. I thought <laughs> I talked, I thought I talked a lot. <laughs> She's super nice. Yes, she is. And her and I chatted yesterday and filmed. So that's why I said earlier, I'm not sure when we're going to drop this video for everyone. I have her, you know, um, we haven't set a date to drop it on our channels yet either. So, but we'll figure it all out. We'll yeah. figure it out. Yeah, she was slow stitching. Which I didn't know what that meant. I thought she was just talking about hand stitching slow. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had to ask her. Yeah, she was showing me some projects yesterday there. We didn't yeah. keep track of how long from when we started. So we had stopped the Zoom for a few minutes. I'm like, we had chatted for 35 minutes already. Is it time flies? It does. Like you and I have been doing this probably 45 minutes. There again, I really? did not take note of the time. Yeah, I didn't start either. I generally try to go 
under an hour or you know not not top an hour because uh statistically by the by the numbers people don't stick with it that long. Yeah. Well, we live streamed Friday from one till five, and them girls were still talking. I finally said, I got to go. I'm hungry. I go, you can stay on, but I'm leaving. And they said, oh, no, we'll get off. Because <laughs> I was going to leave them there. <laughs> well, I went down and fixed a quick lunch before we did this today, but I don't have any idea what we're having for supper tonight. I'm having leftover pizza from yesterday. Thank goodness I got it before the storm. Yeah. So how long was your power out? Uh, it went out before it got dark. And it didn't come on till 1.30 last night. And it was funny because some of the lights had dim lights here and there. And I'm like, oh, this is cool. I can still see. So I went upstairs because my phone... Even my cell phone wasn't working, so I went on my laptop to report my power out. Well, as soon as I told them I had some lights, they went out, like, instantly. I'm like, they <laughs> shut me <laughs> I'm like, ha-ha, we'll pull you. <laughs> it was nice, because I still had the light, just like a night light almost in my room. <laughs> None of the big lights would come on, but all the, I had those things plugged in with uh that make your house smell good downstairs oh, yeah. Yeah. and those were all lit huh we have little lights going up our stairs that uh you charge up with like a little usb cable i don't know what you call them but anyway um and they mount we have them right like just above the stairs you put one of those uh, command hooks on command flat pieces, and you've got this little piece of um, metal of uh, magnet, and the light magnets right to that little piece. They're uh -huh. really neat, and they stay on, and they go about I don't know eight or nine days before I have to charge them. Oh, that's um, good. So we've got three going up the stairs. So. Your feet are always lit up on the stairs because we have a cat, and you know that's a real fear because they dart in around your feet. Yes. Yeah, as cats are known to do. Yeah, we have two cats, and he's always tr trying to trick me. Yeah. Well, I did the serpentine stitch, and I did it every inch, but you know, I think I'm going to go back and go in between there. Because I want it more quilted than what it is. I thought this was, I was going to be happy with this. But, you know, the thing is, is I couldn't figure out how I wanted to quilt this. And Jean kept saying, it will talk to you. And I said, well, I hope it says something pretty soon because it hasn't yet. It's been two <laughs> days. So it still hadn't. And then I wanted to quilt it while you and I were doing this. And it's just not quilty enough. But I had some really small pieces. I'm going to show you. This was an inch wide right here. You'll see the little pins. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, see. I only ended up with a half inch piece, but I still have quite a few scraps in here. So oh, I no. should get two more bags, I think, out of it. Good. I can't wait to see them. I'm excited. I'm excited just to see how it turns out all together. And the straps, I've been thinking about that because I don't think I'm going to use those scraps for the straps. I think I'm going to use this, which I bought. It was supposed to be a Tula Pink scrap bag. So I expected straps like what I just showed you, but that's not what I got. This is what I got. So it's with the oh, fabric. I for straps. Oh yeah, they're very nice, but I'm still going to cut them up and make a scrappy strap because I, I think that just goes with the bag. Oh, that'll and, be nice. You know, of course it doesn't matter which Tula fabric you pick, it all matches because she works in the same color themes. She just changes the prints. So, yeah, that's what I think. 
But yeah, anyway, I, I think we're probably going to have to wrap it up here today. But oh, let me turn off my light. But I'm so glad you came to visit me in the sewing room and let me into yours. <laughs> yes, this was fun. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for accepting the invite. I think it's been fun. And maybe we can do this again sometime or go on a live together or something. You have that technology. I know nothing about that. <laughs> well, now you can go live right from the button. It'll say go live with somebody. And you go really? live and it sends them a link right on YouTube. I, on YouTube or on Zoom? No, on YouTube. Really? Mm -hmm. Once you're live, you do this? Yeah. You know where you go in and say, it says create. You can do yeah. a short or whatever. It'll say go live with somebody. Oh, no kidding. I'll have to check that out. Maybe you'll be my, my first. We'll try it on a private so I don't make a, an idiot out of myself because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for stopping by today, Mona. It was great to have you. And I'm going to link her channel down below. If you don't already subscribe to her channel, you might want to check her out and see what she's been up to because Mona did what? You have to drop by to find out. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mona, and you. you all take care. Be kind out there. The world needs more of that, and I'll see you next time right here at Marie's Scrappy Creations. Bye-bye.